Hi everybody, this is Rob Alvarado for Windows Phone Central again. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick little clip of Elo Milo for the Xbox Live Marketplace. Uh, it's a cool little puzzle game. Uh, it takes place on little levels and the basis of it all is to try and get the two characters named Elo and Milo to reunite with one each other. Um, it's released by Microsoft Game Studios uh, by South End Interactive. It's currently an exclusive to AT&T customers. Uh, I believe it's going to be open on the marketplace after the new year. Um, it's a very, very fun puzzle game. It's set up brilliantly. Um, as you can see, it has a kind of storybook uh, or scrapbook kind of graphic style to it. The accelerometer picks up my phone movements. You can see the background moving as I sway around. Uh, very cool little uh, quirk that I thought was very neat, very interactive little setup. Um, I'm assuming the little red character is Elo and the little blue one is Milo by the title. And I, I guess I'll just jump right in so you guys can see what the gameplay is all about. There's a chapter right there. It's pretty quick to load, comparatively speaking. Uh, I know uh, Dan did a comparison of a Need for Speed uh, with the Samsung Focus, which this is on, and the HD7. Uh, Need for Speed takes a little while to load, but then again, that's a game that's a little more graphically intensive. Um, as you see here, I'm on a level. It's all 3D boxes and things like that. I can swish the camera around um, to get a, a lay of the land, basically, of the level, which helps out a great deal if uh, puzzle games are not your forte. You can also zoom in. Uh, you can see, there we go, cute little face there. The D-pin here moves the character about. There's no worry of walking off the edge of the map. They're just not going to do it. There's pretty much nothing in the level that can actually harm you either, so you don't have to worry about taking damage or anything like that. Uh, on the bottom right here, we have the character switch button, which switches between Elo and Milo. You can use it as many times as you want. There's no limit. Have fun with it. The little rope pulley up here, as you can see, is for the game menu. You have all your options right in there, and you can see what's going on. I'm going to zoom. You can double tap to reset the camera. And you can zoom out, oops, wrong way, you can zoom out even more to see the whole level if you want to. Uh, it's a little extreme because this is a smaller level. This is very early on in the game. It's a very easy puzzle that I'm just going to go through. But then again, this is just the taste of the game anyway. Each level has collectibles. Uh, there are three little items called Savkas, and they're basically just little guys that follow you around. And it's very good to collect all of them. These little glowy objects uh, don't really act as collectibles in that sense. They basically just, they're there to show you which way to go. Uh, and again, there's only movement in here. There's no jumping. It's not really a platforming game, even though there are tons of platformers in it. I'll move the camera back there. And they're kind of item collections, too, like this box over here. I'm going to collect that. You can see the little item popped up in the right over here. I can collect that box. And it becomes like a little backpack. You see on his back there. Move over here and put the box back down. Now I can, you can see I can cross that little bridge there. And that's one of the little Safka guys that I was talking about. It just follows you around. Very, very cute, very cool. And move back over, pick up this box again. And I'm just gonna make a little bit of progress till I need to switch to the other character named Milo. He's the blue guy on the other end of the level. Now the importance of collecting these little soft guys is uh, is pretty pretty big because they unlock the bonus level at the very end of the game. I'm gonna come over here for now. Switch to Mila, and I can pick up this box over here. There we go. And see, isn't that neat? The whole level just sways around when you hit those little ramps. Now, the only way to reunite them is to get them one block away from each other. And that's basically it. I do a little happy dance, they're done, the level's over. And it shows you your results. Uh, now, if you want to get on the leaderboards, if, if you have friends who play this game too, you want to try and make as little cubes traveled as possible. Uh, that way you'll get a higher score than the rest of your friends. And you see I collected all the little guys, which is also a good result. Uh, each chapter... Uh, this is chapter one. Each one of the three chapters uh, is comprised of nine levels. If you get all the little collectible guys in each one, you unlock the bonus level right up here in the top right. 
And if you do that for every single chapter, for all three of them, when you get to the end of the game, you unlock the bonus levels, which are, are much harder than any of the other levels in the game. Uh, it's a very good challenge, so I highly recommend it. It's a pretty quick game. Uh, you could finish it in just a few hours. Um, the game begins with six prologue levels. Now, these are just introductory levels to get you uh, introduced to the game and know what the, the, the play mechanics are. So, I mean, really, after one or two levels, you, you know how to play the game. It's very, very simple. Uh, music's a little bit repetitive, but again, it's a lot of fun. So, you'll notice, unless you're in a level for an hour or so, you're not going to notice a level, the, uh, the music getting annoying or anything like that. Um, I definitely recommend it. It's lots of fun. Uh, once you beat the game, though, you're not really going to be playing it again. The replay value is pretty low. Uh, that's about it. If you have any questions about Elo Milo, by all means, send us a message, and we'll do our best to answer all your questions. Find us on the message boards, uh, the forum, rather. And uh, I'll just skip the book there. We'll answer any questions you have. Hope you enjoyed seeing Ilomilo. And that wraps it up. Have a good one, guys.